We're coming to the end of week four of complete lockdown here in Spain with it looks like at least another two weeks to go. Now the only place that I can come outside to do any photography or actually to go outside at all really is here on my balcony and because of that I kicked off a project doing outdoor photography from my balcony. I've already shared two videos from that project. The first one was me photographing big breaking waves on a pretty rough day out on the breakwater down there using a long lens and uh, on Wednesday I shared my attempts to photograph the pink supermoon again using that big long lens but that isn't the only photography that I've done out here over the last eight or nine days I've been out here a few times and when I've done something worthwhile I've made some video clips now each session each video clip isn't enough to make a single video that I want to share but if I put them all together well maybe that will make for something interesting and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it if you do don't forget about hitting that subscribe button unless of course you've already done that in which case thank you very much So one of the things about being restricted to a single location is you have to make the best of any opportunity that comes up. And my first photo session and my first bit of video is very much making use of an opportunity because we had an unusual, but for me at least, very welcome visitor to the area. Let's go and have a look. Uh, this is probably going to be a very quick segment in a longer video, but my wife just uh, dragged me out of my office where I was doing some stuff on the computer and said there's some kind of bird of prey perched on one of the windows or above one of the windows on like a vent thing up on that uh, building over there some kind of falcon, kestrel, I, I don't know I'm not an ornithologist, I'm not very good on bird names but it certainly looks nice so I'm going to try and get some shots of it So I grabbed a few quick handheld shots when I first came out, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So to get better stability, I've now got a tripod set up. I've got the 150 to 600 lens on, 600 mil. Now even at 600 mil, the bird's pretty small in the frame. So this is gonna have to be cropped quite a lot. So I'm trying to keep the quality as high as I can. It's also really difficult to focus at 600 mil. I'm doing some shots using uh, autofocus, using the AF on button, uh, but I'm also doing some shots where I'm manually focusing. But it's really, really difficult to see if I'm getting the focus right. Still just sitting up there. I've been out here for about half an hour now, just taking a few shots of it. I'm just hoping I'm managing to get one that's sharp enough, particularly because I'm going to have to crop it in quite a lot to make it work. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, it finally got bored and flew away, so uh, I'm going to uh, take the camera back inside and see if I've managed to get anything. Having only a single location available to shoot from means that I have to get rid of some of my preconceptions. I have to start thinking about different types and styles of photography than I would normally do. And uh, as this balcony is also an area that I use for exercise, I'm constantly out here walking around and looking for things that might make for an interesting image, even if it's very different to what I normally do. And if I find something, well, all I've got to do is pop in and grab the camera. Oh, by the way, I've decided to create a YouTube playlist where I'm putting all of the videos that are produced during this lockdown period. So obviously I'll be adding to that as I produce new videos. But uh, if you want to check that out, if you haven't seen all of my videos recently, then uh, there's a link to that up there now. 
and uh, I'll also stick a link in the description for this video. Okay, back out on the balcony again, and though my uh, previous shots from here have concentrated on kind of natural stuff like the waves breaking on the end of the breakwater and that uh, beautiful kestrel, which will have appeared hopefully in the previous clip, uh, I'm doing something really different. There's a rooftop over there and it's got loads of structures on it. It's got kind of uh, almost like chimney stacks going up. There's a curved vent coming around. There's some other pipes on there. There's some aerials and satellite dishes on there. And uh, I want to do something really sort of as a kind of graphic composition of that. So I've got the 70 to 200 lens on. So I'm going to zoom in just on the roof section. Uh, I'm just going to shoot handheld. It's actually easier than trying to set the tripod up because it's bright light uh, and I'll easily be able to handhold this. And uh, I'm going to shoot just the top section of the roof with all those structures on and the plan is to crop it down probably two to one convert it to black and white and make it really high contrast so i'm going to blow out the entire sky and really darken all of the or most of the structures and make it sort of a really graphic thing all about the shapes and the structures almost industrial it's worth a go Take a couple of shots just to make sure I've got it shot. Always the difficulty with shooting handheld, you're never sure. But uh, yeah, something a bit different maybe. I love a good sunrise. Who doesn't? And it can be really difficult to look out and see a beautiful sunrise starting to form and not be able to go down onto the beach or go somewhere really beautiful to photograph it. But I can either complain about it or I can make the best of it and try and do something from the balcony. So when one morning I looked out and things looked really nice, I tried to make the best of it. Good morning. Oh, focus on me please. Okay, so it's just after sunrise. The sun's only just putting an appearance. I'm just shooting handheld here. I've got a 50mm lens on. Uh, shooting at f11 and 160th of a second. And all I've got is the corner of the buildings down here coming in from the bottom right. And the tall building over there on the left hand side. And then the sun coming up. There's some palm trees down there. I'll say I'll probably crop it in the uh, post and see what it looks like. sky actually nice cloud patterns difficult to really get something good obviously with this kind of vantage point but got the 16 to 35 on now 16 mil and I'm just using the build build on the left to frame the the scene on the left the building in front of me kind of forms a, a bit of a foreground and then a, a quite a nice sky Quite a lot of converging verticals I'm going to have to deal with, but f11 and 160th of a second, it's perfectly feasible to shoot handheld.
So with at least two more weeks of lockdown in front of us, I'm definitely gonna be making some more videos out on this balcony. And I'm also doing some indoor videos as well, exploring some creative photography that doesn't involve being outside. So I'll be sharing those with you over the next couple of weeks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider hitting that thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share on social media. And of course, if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget about that subscribe button. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're keeping healthy. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Oh, don't forget about leaving me a comment if you'd like this or if you've got something to add. And until the next video, thank you very much and bye.